I recently passed the Cybersecurity Associate Certification from Cisco, formerly known as the Cyber Ops Associate Certification, to renew my CCNA certification. In this video, I'll be going over the exam, how I passed, going over an overview of the exam, and if the certification may be worth it for you. Now, before we get into this video, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. If you guys are interested in joining the Discord, go to the description down below or go to jamesy.tech slash Discord to check it out. We're very close to hitting 500 members on our Discord, so if you want to join a community of people trying to get into IT, cybersecurity, and trying to get certified, join it down in the description below and feel free to ask any questions or anything like that. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate Certification is focused more on Security Operation Center Responsibilities, or SOC. It covers monitoring, detection, incident response, and threat analysis, basically everything a junior SOC analyst would need to know. I personally think of this certification like Cisco's version of the CompTIA Security Plus and the CYSA Plus. More so the CYSA Plus because the CYSA Plus dived more deep into cybersecurity topics and had more log analysis involved. So if you've taken those certifications in the past, this certification won't be too hard for you. The main difference between the CompTIA and Cisco certifications is Cisco will be vendor specific and CompTIA is vendor neutral, meaning that Cisco will have more proprietary protocols and softwares involved in the certification. That is something you definitely want to watch out for if you're new to Cisco, because Cisco definitely has a lot of their own proprietary software. This exam is two hours long, 95 to 110 questions, multiple choice, multiple answer, and they had a couple drag and drop questions. The exam will also cost you about $300, which is a little more than the Security Plus and I think a little less than the CompTIA CYSA Plus. There's also going to be no lab or simulation question in this exam. They will have a lot of pictures and packet captures, log analysis, whether that's from firewalls, uh, intrusion detection systems, or intrusion prevention systems. They have a, lo a lot of log analysis and pictures involved from def different uh, network um, systems. So you will have to know how to identify which system a log came from based on the information it gives you, if it's a firewall, IPS, or host-based firewall, something like that. Those are some things that you'll definitely want to know. For me personally, the exam was 104 questions and it took me slightly over an hour to complete it. Now to summarize why I did take this exam, I did take the CCNA exam about two years ago in May of 2023. And the CCNA is valid for about three years. And if you take another associate level certification, for example, like this one, it will also renew your CCNA. So by taking this exam, I renewed my CCNA for another three years and got a new certification by doing so as well. However, it is not required to take another certification in order to renew your CCNA. You can do uh, CE credits, I believe they're called, which is like continuing education, I think it's called credits. So if you take certain courses, you can actually earn your CCNA back once you take a certain amount of courses. For some people getting into cybersecurity, this certification might be a good move. If your goal is to work with Cisco products and go into a company that utilizes Cisco products a lot more, um, this certification will look a lot more attractive to those employers. I will say a lot of companies use Cisco out there. Um, the companies that I've all worked for all use Cisco in some way. So regardless, it definitely looks good on a resume. Um, if you're someone who already has the Security Plus and wants to get a more deeper cybersecurity certification, this might not be a bad option. The certification definitely isn't as known as the CompTIA Security Plus or maybe not even the CYSA Plus, specifically because Cisco did change the name recently from the Cyber Ops to the Cyber Security Associate. But I will say the Cisco brand itself on the cert on your resume looks great regardless. Um, so I think the certification would look great if you already have the Security Plus or you want to get into cybersecurity with Cisco specifically. This would be a great move for you. Now let's go over my score report on the exam. So they have five categories on security monitoring. I got an 88% post-based analysis. I got a 75%. That was my worst category. Network intrusion and analysis. I got a 90%. Security policies and procedures. I got an 80%. And security concepts. I got an 80% as well. They give you the exam score report right after you took the right after you take the exam. So as soon as I got the notification that I passed, I was able to go onto cert metrics and view my exam score. Now here are some topics I would recommend you study for if you're thinking about taking the certification. Network-based tools like Wireshark and NetFlow. NetFlow is a Cisco-specific um, software, so I would get I would get uh, familiar with NetFlow because I did have a lot of questions on NetFlow. 
Security event correlation and log analysis, for example, Windows logs, firewall logs, IPS and IDS logs. I did talk about this a little earlier, identifying which logs come from which systems. For example, firewall logs give you the source and destination port and IP address telling you if it's blocked or allowed. While, for example, Windows logs like Event Viewer will tell you an event ID and tell you what happened within the event like someone's logging into the computer. So identifying which systems give you different logs is something important for the certification. Also know the incident response process, for example, NIST, um, knowing how their incident response process works. Also would know the cyber kill chain. Um, another thing I would know is host level threats and file analysis, de determining indicators of compromise and indicators of attack, knowing the differences between those. And the last thing I would know is basic security policy practices, best practices, SLA agreements, and chain of custody, how chain of custody works and why it's important. Lastly, we're going to talk about how I prepared for this certification. Since I took the Security Plus and the CYSA Plus a little over a year ago, I have a lot of decent security background with basic security topics. And I also took the CCNA, like I said, a little over two years ago, which involves a lot of Cisco related technologies and also goes over basic networking and does go over some network security. So since I already had a lot of prior knowledge, what I did was went on Udemy and looked for practice test packages because I didn't find a lot of free resources online with a lot of practice questions. So what I did is I found a 600 practice question bank, bought it, it was about 20 bucks. I think I got it for a little less than that. So I bought the test bank the day before my exam was scheduled. So I took the all the practice tests the day before and the day of before my exam. Um, which got me ready and got me really confident for the exam because I took the practice questions and got 80s and 85s on most of the exam or most of the exams themselves. So once I gauged my knowledge and knew that this was a possible certification for me to pass, I scheduled the exam for the next day and kept studying and got ready for the certification. If you're someone who's completely new to cybersecurity or even Cisco, I would recommend taking a full course on this certification. I have a link down in the description below for a good YouTube playlist that has all the topics in this exam. Along with that, I also have linked down below the Cisco cybersecurity uh, associate book that they have specifically for this exam. What they have before each module is they have a quiz that gauges your knowledge before you even go into the module. So if you already know the information within the module, you take the quiz and you realize, okay, I don't really need to read through this module and you can skip past it. But I'll also have those linked down in the description below if you're new to Cisco or cybersecurity and you need a bigger guide than just practice questions. So that is all I have to share about the Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate Certification. If you have any questions about my experience, about the certification or any other certification, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment down in the comments below. If you want to join my Discord, the link is also down in the description below or at jamesy.tech Discord. You can also feel free to ask me questions in there. Like I said, we're, also at, we're almost at 500 members. If you want to join a community of people trying to get into IT, cybersecurity, and all kinds of cool stuff like that, feel free to join. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers, so it'd be really appreciated if you guys did hit the subscribe button. Once again, this is Jamesy Tech. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.